Hello, I'm Mike Leach of MLV Productions and I'm here at the Army Training Regiment Purbright to record some of the events to take place in the next 11 weeks. 11 weeks, that is, of the Recruit Military Training. The training which every entrant to the British Army will take part in. Prior to starting this 11 weeks of Phase 1 training, however, the recruit's potential will already have been assessed by one of the Army Recruit Selection Centres. Then the recruit will move to the Army Foundation Company. Here, administrational details will be taken care of, such as medical and clerical work. Odell, colorized blue, of hair lying around. Yeah, well, kit well. issues. That's the few move down. Haircuts. and generally settling the recruit into the army way of life. Then, the recruit's fitness is brought up to the minimum standard for entry to phase one training. Normandy Platoon have now started Phase 1 training and we join them on Day 2 of the 11 week course.
On our next visit to Purbright, we find Normandy Platoon on the drill square. Here in week four, we see the recruits setting off on the first of the three field exercises to take place during phase one of training. This first exercise deals with the basics of living in the field and covers such aspects as field cooking, erecting a shelter for the night and camouflage and concealment. Alright, so that's my lunch time. With my lunch time, I've got biscuits brown, okay, which are like hard biscuits, plus you've got fruit biscuits there, okay, like the old Garibaldi things. Now with that, obviously, comes your little boiled sweets, a little Mars bar, and your normal chocolate bar. Okay, you've got a good hot warm breakfast, which is your beans and your sausages, or bacon and your beans, or you get beef burgers and beans as well, and then you'll get a good hot meal where you get a pudding as well. Okay, all you're going to do is cook one of these, is remove it from the plastic bag. All right? Let me see plastic bags stuck in there. Take the food down to one end. Hold it up. And place it into the water. 
okay? Let the water boil, two to three minutes, that will be piping hot, okay? Take it out and you'll notice then at one end, it's a little groove. Pull it along the groove and dig in. That should be okay with this one. Okay, and there you go. Let's extend your pole up. <coughs> okay, then you can hold it up. Right, what can I use then, instead of using these extendable poles? Sticks. Yeah, quite simple. Just get a stick, make sure it's nice and strong. It's not going to snap off in the middle of the night, therefore causing a crease in your poncho and rain to, uh, allow rain to get on you or your kit. Okay, so remember that. In week five, the recruit's standard of turnout and drill is reviewed with the drill test, which starts with an inspection.
For some recruits, the biggest hurdle of the 11-week physical training program is the BFLT, the Basic Fitness Level Test. This test takes place three times during the recruit stay at Purbright. The first has to be passed to enter Phase 1 of training. The second, the interim BFLT seen taking place here, is in Week 5 and assesses the recruit's progress through the course. The final BFLT, which has to be passed to go to Phase 2 of training, is in Week 10. The test consists of heaves to the beam, sit-ups and a mile and a half run. The test is progressive and with each test the minimum amount of heaves and sit-ups will increase and the minimum time for the run will decrease. Press-ups. Get up with you. Ten. Stand up. Shake off. And continue out five times. Change. Oh. Run, idiot. This side. Oh, Jesus. Come on, be up. Extend. Where you go? Hey, you're on five tens. Press-ups. I'll do you there. Do them there. Keep your legs together. Keep your legs together. You're on four. Now we're going for five. You're going to extend your arms, you're still on five. Don't kick, we're still on five. That's three years you've wasted there. You're not paying any attention. Go back up. Hang straight. That's mad. Broken stuff. Who? Stuffing stuff. Stuffing, you're wasting three years, right? You're not paying attention. You, are. you go up, Tricks you extend up. your arms, come back down. Legs are together, right? Stuffing, five. Wilkinson, ten. Change! Back up. 
back side.
fours. In week six, the recruits go on their second field exercise, taking their field craft a stage further. Again, you can see facial distinguishing colour, can't you? See the colour of his hand? You can make out the colour of the BFAs. You can see distinct shape. The helmet, the shoulders, the shape of his head, his body, his equipment. Can everybody see that, yes? Do you agree? It's quite visible, isn't it? Okay, using the appearance method. When you see this, what I want you to do is to place the foresight onto the actual figure and see how much of the foresight covers the figure at 300 metres. Because you as a soldier in the field need to know this also. Alright, just see how much that foresight covers them. Don't have a gang gangguly there, gents, yeah? Sit up and talk about something constructive, okay? I.e., like unit of measure, appearance method. 
the considerations you take which have just been taught, think about them. Go on then. Okay, Kelsey and Neve, that kneel down, gentlemen. Kneel down, sorry. Okay, got them kneeling down, yes? Couple.
Also on exercise, members of the Royal Logistic Corps in Phase 2 training have set up a field kitchen and are supplying the meals for Norm Dip 2 and Master's Troop. Excuse us a nice drive of hydrating. Well, we get a little more than the You must be earning a fortune out of these. Drink, drink it down. Yeah. Pass, please. Yeah. Then you pass to the cellar. Yeah, it's not just a cash tray. Cellar's something below the ground. It's all this being a bit. Yeah. Probably not possible for me. Oh well. Healthy eating is that window. Healthy eating, you want the carbohydrates. Does that mean I can if I give you my chips, I'll have a jacket to you? You can still grab a jacket. We're not sure. Today. Especially with a spoon. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Sean, I'll have some chips in the spoon. Good, good. Well, you're scared in the kitchen missing something, Macaulay, are you? <coughs> eh? You're scared in the kitchen missing something, are you? Let's go, go. Mmm, yum. <laughs> That's it, push off now. Legs up front. Adventure training in Devon during week eight came as a welcome break from the busy schedule and introduced the recruits to such activities as climbing and abseiling, hill walking and caving. Bring your left arm slightly forward a bit. You know, when you start, when you start point to point, I've got another box on the end as well. As well as the outdoor activities, a high percentage of training takes place in the classroom, teaching the recruit a wide range of subjects such as military law, map reading, security, etc. And naturally it would serve no purpose for us to interrupt these lessons to record them. In battle, casualties are inevitable, and here one of the classroom subjects First aid can be seen being put into practice with a casualty simulation exercise. Ah. Well then, what have we got here, then? What have we got? Tell me what you've caught the problem is your casualty. Chester, it's a bullet hole, isn't it? Yeah. See the bullet hole? Anybody what, we got there? what do we need to do? Ah. All right, all right. <laughs> right, what have we got here? You're not going to put the one way valve straight over his jacket, are you? Because you're not going to achieve anything, are you? Ah, let's talk. Let's, what, what else? We've got the unconscious casualty. What we're we going to have to carry out? Come on, speak to me. Come on. Naturally, soldiers must be able to protect themselves from all forms of attack, and this must include nuclear, biological and chemical attack. And many hours have been spent in the classroom during phase one training, teaching the recruits how to do this. Now, towards the end of the course, these skills are being put to the test in a chamber full of harmless, though irritating, CS gas. 
the purpose being to check that the drills are being carried out correctly. If they are not, it will become immediately apparent. Endurance marches take place at regular intervals throughout Phase 1 training. Both the length and the weight the recruits are carrying will increase throughout the course. Here we see Normandy Platoon taking part in the final endurance march of Phase 1 training, the Recruit CFT, 6 miles and carrying 30 pounds in weight. The final event of phase one training to be caught on camera, the commanding officer's competition, gets underway on the assault course. This is a section competition with sections from Normandy platoon competing against sections from Master's Troop. Sections will set off at two minute intervals around the assault course and the fastest time around the course wins this phase of the competition. Yeah. 
people. Blue Pigs, you got the back. You want to be in front of him, don't you? Skill at arms lessons throughout phase one training have taught the recruits how to handle and fire their weapons both safely and accurately. This next phase of the competition puts that to the test.
sporting events conclude the commanding officers competition, cross country and swimming. And so, as Normandy Platoon conclude 11 weeks of Phase 1 training, we come to the end of training to be soldiers. I hope you have enjoyed watching just a sample of the many subjects that have taken place during the past 11 weeks. On Friday, Normandy Platoon, together with Masters Troop, will parade for the final time here at the Army Training Regiment Purvite. We shall be there to record this momentous occasion, and I hope you will join us for the Passing Out Parade video.